All right, we're going to demonstrate how to make the, the main body of the car here. So you have your folder, your design brief. You know the requirements. Um, if you don't, check your folder, read the rules, make sure you're doing it right. We're going to start by making a box. And we're going to start with a box that's the, the size set out in the design requirements. So we're going to go 12 feet. There's no shift. That's just the apostrophe, comma, 5 feet, enter. Okay, so there's our box. We're going to get our push-pull tool. We're going to pull that up. Four feet, enter. Now remember, we never hold the mouse button down. We don't hold the mouse button down when we're pulling. I clicked once. I'm not holding the mouse button down. This allows us to do other things as we pull or draw boxes or whatever it is we're doing. Uh, escape cancels. Control Z undoes. Okay, so remember those three things. Don't click and hold. Escape to cancel something. Control Z to undo. I'll pull that back up to four feet. All right, here's the box our car body needs to fit in. The wheels can be underneath it. This is just the maximum size for the body. Uh, I did my sketches and my drawing. I decided I was going to do truck, so I'm going to start just by making the shape of a truck on this box. Okay, we got it there. Pull it back. Um, I don't want it to be that full length. I'm going to have a little bumper on the back there. Get our push pull tool. Now we can start chopping things off. Now, before we get too far, we want to make this a component. So we're going to get our selection tool. That's this one right here. We can also get that by just pushing the space bar. Or if we select something, that's a face. We can select an edge. If we double click, we can select a face. Whoops, that was a triple click. If we double click, that's a face and the edges. If we triple click, it selects everything. So we want to triple click, right click, make component. Give it a name if you want. We can call this um, truck. Or if you don't want to bother naming it, that's fine. Just click create. It is now a component. We can't edit the component. We have to first select the component and go inside the component. Now we're editing the component and if we want to make changes now we can make changes. This is very important to remember. If you want to do a wheel well, okay I've got a wheel well there it doesn't let me push it out. If I go into the component it's shaded out. I still can't it won't let me select that one piece because we did it outside of the component. Let's turn that off for just a second. That's all we have. Okay, so let's erase this. We're going to go into the component. We're going to get our arc tool, and I'm going to draw a couple of wheel wells. Now I want my wheel wells all to be the same. So I'm going to get my select tool again. I'm going to click here. I'm going to get my move tool, and I'm going to click right here on the edge. Now it's moving. If I want to make it a copy, I push the control button once. That little plus sign pops up. If I hit the control again, it switches back to move. So hit control. We want to copy, and we're going to move it back here. Okay. Now, we want them on the other side too, right? So we have this one selected. Hit control again. We're going to click here. See the green line? That means we're inferring on the green axis, we're going to go all the way across, make sure we're on the edge and it's green, and it should be perfect. We're going to do the same thing one more time, control, click here, except how do we know here how far we go? We're going to have to come over here to this side, match it up, hover here for a second or two, and now see it's got our dotted line there, we're going to go all the way over and click. So now we have four wheel wells and they're all matched. Uh, let's push them in a little bit. How far are we going to push these in? Doesn't matter. You can read. I have this set to millimeters right now. Hopefully yours is in inches and feet. Uh, I'm going to type in, oh, let's go one foot.
Please release the choir students to go to the band room to practice for the assembly. Thank you. Now when we do this, we can infer here, matches that one. This one, we're going to go one foot. Uh, same thing here. All right, now we have four wheel wells. Starting to look more like a truck. Uh, I'm going to show you a new tool called the offset tool. Okay, we're going to get the offset tool. We're going to go back into our component, grab the offset tool. Watch what happens here. It's got this face selected. If I click on this edge, see what we're doing? We can do this with any shape. So we'll do that right there. We could do it with this one. Um, don't know why we'd want to. Maybe we're going to use that. Uh, we could start our window that way. So this could be our side window and we could go around and erase all that stuff. We could also do our windshield. Okay, so I'm going to do my windshield and let's give it a little bit of depth. Remember SketchUp is 3D. We like 3D. So let's make these things three-dimensional. We could do the same thing on the back. We could do our offset uh, and push it in just a little bit. Now that's starting to look more like a truck. Let's do something about our grill. That's pretty plain Jane. Uh, I'm gonna click out for a second so I'm not editing this component. We want some headlights. We could just draw some circles on there and that could be a headlight but let's let's make it a little more fancy. Let's use our offset tool and I'm going to do a ring like that. Okay, let's pull this out. There. Now we have a little bit more detail. We can triple click on that. We can make it a component. We can give it a name or just hit create and we're going to copy this one straight over. Get it where it looks about right. Click. Now with the grill, we could make a big fancy grill and we could import it on. If we wanted to, uh, if you're doing a sports car and this surface is curved and you want the headlight up there, we could do that. Let's, let's move this up. I'm going to move it up about there, but that looks kind of weird, right? So let's edit this component and let's pull this back so it blends into the hood. Okay, so now I've got a compound shape there. We could join those later but that, that's fine this the way it is. If we like that we could copy this one, move it over and just delete that one. Actually since these are both the same component it should have modified both of them and it did. So we can do that for headlights. Now with the grill uh, if you want things to go in for example our headlight here if I push this in it only goes back that far because the component underneath is showing up. So if we want to do something to this, we have to go in and edit this component. We could draw a box. Um, you could do all kinds of funky shapes here. We could do curves. Select it and we can move and control. We could copy this down a couple times. Make sure, whoops, that's not right. Control Z select it. It has to be blue. It has to be selected before you can move it. Control going straight down. Um, one more. Let's move it up now. Let's go down right there. Okay, so now we can push um, push. got to get unselected or it's going to choose that one. So we'll get our push-pull tool and push this stuff back infer, match it so it's all the same depth. Now we have a bit of a grill. If we wanted to we could make these stick out. Okay. Uh, so there's your basic outline of your, your vehicle. Uh, we, we'll get into a lot more detail here in a minute uh, on how you can make interior. We can start adding more components to it and we'll, we'll do the wheels and all that fun stuff.